Good morning, stubborn nation, and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm excited and nervous. I'm sharing some things with you today that I've never shared before, some things about my personal life that I've never told you. And as the title says, I'm going to introduce you to a whole new chapter in my life, something that I've been working very hard towards. And I'm honestly pretty excited to share with y'all. I wasn't really sure if this was the right thing to do or uh, whether or not to share all this, but y'all have been with me for so long. I feel like we have shared my life, uh, my story, if you will, together over the last few years. And I was reinforced that I'm making the right decision, y'all, because, listen, I had this message pop up on my timeline this morning and it just reinforced of what we're gonna share here today. In 2014, seven years ago on this day, I put this post online and it was the morning I decided to change my life. I had gone through a horrible divorce. I didn't know where I was gonna be in life or what I was gonna do, but I knew I had something in my heart that I wanted to chase and I put it online, and I even wrote about this in my book, Inside My Helmet. The moment I put that post online, I knew I had to see it through, I had to follow through, and that I would follow through. That post right there is a moment that led me all the way to where we are today. So I'd like to rewind time, go back to the day I sold everything, my beautiful pool home in Florida, all my furniture, my art collection, everything I owned, I sold except my motorcycle and my little pal scooter. I loaded on my motorcycle and I started riding across the country. This was a really scary and uncertain time for me. I had nothing that I was accustomed to, home, a home base, anything like that. I was literally living off the back of my motorcycle, riding around the country every day with my dog scooter. So when looking at options for tents, uh, Scooter and I had a disagreement. So Scooter got his own tent too. Visiting people and visiting Harley Davidson dealerships, trying to raise money and awareness of the needs for our veterans in this country. The journey was amazing. It took me coast to coast to every little town across this country over 16 times, meeting hundreds of thousands of people, Americans from every walk of life, from every culture that you can imagine. He's uh, giving back to the to the veterans that gave their lives for us and their families. I think you're doing an awesome thing for them. You just can't find the words to praise him enough for what he's doing. I got to see some of America's most beautiful scenery. I got to see national parks and big cities and places I have always dreamt of going since I was a kid, like the Redwood National Forest. And I got to share it all with my best friend my pal Scooter. And he got to live an amazing life traveling to all these places and seeing all these things, sniffing all the smells and <laughs> visiting all across the country. And in the end, not only did I become the first person to ride to every Harley Davidson dealership in the lower 48, that's 702 dealerships in a single trip, 88,000 miles. Not everything was perfect. I did get in an accident that affects me to this day, where I destroyed my left leg. My name is Carrie Hoax, and I am Adam's physical therapist. But I'm really concerned about his ability to walk at this point. I'm not quite sure how he's going to do it. And it was lonely. So it is uh, Thanksgiving Day, and my bike broke down in the middle of the woods. So uh, Scooter and I set up camp in this campground. And uh, I'm now walking. I'm gonna go try to find something to eat. The travels across the country were lonely. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about how little I really needed to survive, how I could make it and make it positive no matter how bad the situation got. But loneliness was certainly something I was dealing with deep down inside. This is something that for every happy mile plagued me in my heart. And I've gone through some major um, changes in, in, in my attitude. I mean, I still feel like I made the right choice. And that, my friends, is where I'd like to say I started chapter two. Chapter two is where I met Ashley. She is someone that I truly love. And at first, the excitement and the newness and the thought of having somebody who cared about me again and who I cared about was invigorating. I had a new spark in life and I had another goal uh, to make a family, to make someone else 
that I love happy, to actually have somebody I might just be able to share life with. The first couple years of our life weren't easy. I still lived on the road full time. She would work two weeks back to back and take her days off together so that she could fly out to wherever I was in the country and spend some time with me. Money was still very difficult for me, so she would take care of hotels and she would take care of food and, and really put me up. At nights when she was gone, I'd be sleeping you know, on the road. But how did I find this place to camp for free? Well, it's pretty simple. One, our churches. Typically, they'll let you stay there for free, no problem. Two, national forest lands. Three, is rest areas, things like that. Four, talk to your biker community, man. I met some of my friends in Memphis. They told me about this park called Shelby Park, and I was able to find some land around behind it, and this is this is where we parked for the night. It was. And when she'd show up, she'd treat me to a hotel, to a nice dinner. I started to feel love. I started to feel what it was like to have somebody there for you when times got difficult and someone to help me push even further in life. And that's when I started to work on my future. I started landing bigger sponsorship deals. I had sponsors like Law Tigers, like Epic Eyewear, where we made these signature magnetic sunglasses. <laughs> We then produced a patent pending and put them to market, selling them not only online, but in motorcycle dealerships all over the country. I started putting out signature products like seats, floorboards, and making more signature merch, like my stubborn American hat, and well, a lot of the other products we've put out across the market. Life started to change. I was now working towards building a future, towards building a family, but I never lost sight of my charitable aspects and, and where my heart really lied. So I was able to come up with new programs like riding around the country, gifting veterans brand new motorcycles. I am proud to give you the keys free to a brand new 2017 Milwaukee 8 motorcycle. Congratulations, man. Thank you for my freedom. or taking veterans who needed some time to clear their head on all expense paid road trips around the country. I'd really fallen into a new way of life, a new way of giving back and building a future for myself at the same time. It was almost unreal. It was hard to even believe that this was what my life was turning into. And I was sharing every step of it along the way with all of you online. And this is where I like to say chapter three started. Chapter three, I took the plunge. I came off of living on the road full time and I purchased a campground. It's the K River Campground in Moyers, Oklahoma. And owning a motorcycle campground had always been a dream of mine. I used to always say, you know, you'd get into a hotel and you'd stand in an elevator, a six by six box with three other people and nobody would say a word. And then you'd get to your floor and you'd get off. And in my travels, when I stayed in campgrounds, I liked the fact that everybody said hi to one another. Where are you from? What are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, it became a very social thing, much like the motorcycle culture, and I knew it was where my heart lied and what I wanted. So when I got to Cave River Campground, it was a big step for me in my life. Not only because I was getting a dream of mine, but I was starting to have some stability, and it was gonna be even closer to creating a real life, a real future, a real family, with Ashley. Soon after purchasing the campground, I got to meet a lot of really interesting characters who came to help me with the project. People that you all have gotten to know across my channel, like Chucky, who was working on the campground before I even purchased it and stayed with me after I got it. Cheryl and Daryl, who just drove out from Michigan to come help me here on the campground and have stayed the entire way. Matt, a Marine who came to visit me, who actually runs the grounds right here on the Kerr River. It really ended up being so much more than the campground I ever dreamed of, considering that, you know, we ended up building tree houses and we've got canoe and kayak outfitting and I started a little petting zoo. I just love animals. In any way I can get them involved in my life, I try to. The next thing that happened just really made me feel like I was doing the right thing, like I was headed in the right direction. Ashley sold her beautiful home in Paris, Texas. Now her and I had spent a lot of time there. Every time I'd come through Texas when I lived on the road, I would stop there and spend a night or two with her. Started to get a taste, just, just a little taste of what life would be like normal again to live with a spouse, to live with someone that you love and who loves you. It was a taste that now 
had turned into a reality with the campground because she sold her house and she moved here with me. And it was a big step for her because she went from this beautiful home in Paris, Texas to living on the campground. I had nowhere to stay other than a school bus down on the river, a school bus that didn't even have a bathroom in it. She stayed there for a while and she told me, you know, listen, Adam, I really do need a bathroom. I have a career, I have a job, I have all these things. And although this may be good for you, <laughs> for me and my career and my lifestyle, I have to have a toilet. I have to have a bathroom. That bus I used to live in, Igor, y'all have seen him in a lot of my videos. He is now touring the country with another veteran on some missions and some journeys that are dear to his heart. So I'm happy to say that's where Igor went. If any of you are asking, you know, why it's no longer here at the campground. So I rented us a camper and I started turning a shop into a house. Now it wasn't much, but it was a bathroom and it was air conditioning and it gave us a place to live. It was certainly an upgrade from the school bus and the camper, but it was no Taj Mahal. I never did get the floors finished. It's still got oil stains on it from when this was housing lawnmowers. There's only one window in the whole house. It goes onto a back patio. Through the last couple of years, I started, you know, upgrading the walls and putting some wood on it and things like that. It's just got an exposed spray foam ceiling and it opens up into my garage on the other side. The bathroom ceilings are still wood. I've been working on fixing some problems that we've had here with the shower. And although Ashley has planted a few plants and flowers, the outside of the house, well, I never really did anything with it. It's just, it's just still the shop. And while this was a huge upgrade for me and my lifestyle, it was certainly a stressful point for Ash. This, this is where I'm going to tell you some things that have been in my life the last couple of years that I haven't shared with you all yet. And that I think for good reason. I was truly appreciative that Ashley was willing to give up her home and life in Paris, Texas to come live out here with me. But it was bigger than even that. What I haven't told you or haven't shared on this channel, and really we're not gonna share much in the future, but I'm gonna let you know, Ashley has a son named Brady. And I came into his life at three years old. This one? Yep, I'll go around and through your hole. And then the other arm straight up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. And now your legs straight up. Lift your legs up, Lift your legs up. There, you up. there you go. There you go. There you go. And although we've kept it off this channel, it really has been a wonderful thing for me. I've actually got to help raise him since he was three years old and I've tried to be a positive role model for him and a positive role model in his life. And in our downtime, we would do things as a family. I really have had so much more of a family than I could ever have asked for. And while we choose not to subject him to the internet and to social media and to all these things, he very much has been a big piece of my life and he has been living here. He had gotten downgraded from his house in Paris, Texas to come live here with me too. And that, my friends, brings us to chapter four. And I'm a little nervous, I'm a little excited to share with you what I've been pouring my heart and energy into for the last six months. Relationships aren't always easy. There are ups and downs and there's rocky points, but one thing is for sure, when you love somebody, you want to help make their dreams come true. And when Ashley had moved into this house, I told her it'd be one year and we'd build a real house to live in with her and Brady. But one year turned into three and I built veterans cabins and I built tree houses and I built all these other things for the campground and for the business and for everyone else and I hadn't built anything for my family. And that is why chapter four is so exciting to me because I'm doing something strictly for my family. In all fairness, Ashley did say it is time and either we're building a house together or I'm gonna go buy another house in Paris. So needless to say, we are building her dream home. And to make it happen, I really had to do a lot of the stuff myself. One day at a time. We're getting it knocked out, one day at a time. But I think it's been amazing. Pulling a pad, this little hand shovel, and well, the electric mixer on the old Kubota. Just leaving a little note so she never, ever forgets. Working on this house, putting my own sweat and my own energy into making it a reality, hasn't only helped me build a more beautiful and better home, but it also adds an element of passion to the house. It adds an element of, I helped build this house with my own two hands. Ashley helped me build this house with her own two hands. Doing a little roofing with my baby. You got that shingle over? 
I had never roofed anything before in my life. We did all the electrical ourselves, taking and cutting down trees and milling it into lumber, getting on my Kubota tractor, running back and finding rocks that I can pick and build so I can create a beautiful landscape around the house. Building front patio steps with some big rocks and it started raining on me. But we gotta keep going. Digging with the backhoe to run my own power lines and trench my own septic lines, water lines, I have put my own literal blood, sweat, tears, and energy into building this house for my family. Yep. Just uh, out here painting, baby. Making you a gate, making sure nobody steals your stuff. <laughs> Ooh, home building. Okay, behind me is my shop that I've shown you all in my videos before. It's my motorcycle shop. I got all kinds of cool projects I'm excited to do in the future out of this shop, but I've been using it as kind of a storage building for building our house, which is right next to my shop. So like I said, I'm a little nervous to share this with you. This is a project I've been working on hard. It's something I've put my heart into and I've really just tried to put the best style into it I could. I've been building a home, building a family, building a future. I truly feel like I'm building a dream. I'm excited to share it with y'all. I hope y'all like it as much as I do, but welcome to my and Ashley's first home. So y'all may remember a video where I was cutting down a tree on my property that was so big it had me scared. This is that tree that I cut down and it's, I mean it's wider. You can't tell from the camera but I can't even put my, oh, uh, I can't even put my hands around it. Let me take you inside. Oh, welcome to the inside of my new house. This will be my editing area, my office. Mine and Ashley's room is in here. And this is something I'm really excited about. Scooter got his own dog door built right into our bedroom. And right out there, there'll be a fenced in area with a cover on it so no birds can get to him. And he'll be able to go in and outside as he pleases. And that, to me, is a huge deal because right now, there's not really a lot of windows or anything for him to see out of in his current living situation. And this door out of our bedroom goes out onto the back patio. It's a three bedroom, two bath home. Positioned in a bunch of cedar trees overlooking a creek. And it is absolutely a dream home. Out here, working on the back patio and thought I should show y'all the creek. It's in our backyard. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Picture I showed you earlier, this is actually taken on the creek directly behind our house. I'll be able to host and entertain friends and family for years to come. It's a beautiful thing the day you build your own home. This is the dream that our veterans and our fallen have literally given their life so that people can live like this. I'm just, uh, I feel truly blessed. And I'm glad y'all have joined along with me on the ride. All this trim, all this cedar, all this was milled off of our very own property. And I gotta give a big shout out to my boy Daryl because he is truly the master miller. He has put in a lot of hours making this siding as beautiful as it possibly can be for our home. I've also had the pleasure of bringing in veterans to help me with this project. This is my boy Joel. He has uh, been overseeing this project for me whenever I'm not here, making sure that it's right. True combat veteran, true American hero that I'm certainly thankful for and glad to have a part of this project. Squared away, man. <laughs> You've been doing a great job, man. It, it absolutely looks amazing. Would you all agree? Tell Joel, is he doing a great job on the house? Hey, it's my pleasure, brother. Amen, brother. And that's what it's all about, bringing people together, helping one another, and making life the best it can be. Making trim to go underneath the windows of the house, all rough cut cedar. This one's gonna be four foot wide. We'll stain it, screw through it. It should look beautiful underneath the windows in that stone. It's hot today. My boy Ken over here has been slaving away on this. Ken, I just want everybody to meet you and see one of the men that was putting in some of this beautiful craftsmanship into the cedar that we're doing here. The truck just arrived. I found some local cabinet makers that handmade our cabinets locally. Uh, made me an amazing deal on them that 
that is just, uh, I'm really excited to see what they look like when they're in. <sighs> Got our driveway getting pushed in with the beautiful Kubota tractor. This thing has absolutely 100% been a game changer for building this property and has saved me so much money. The property was completely raw land when I started. You know, I've pushed in a lot of these roads and my buddy Ron, he's a, he's a true Oklahoma cowboy. He's helped me as well. But having the equipment to be able to do this on this property has made it feasible for me too. That bad boy has been a game changer without doubt. And that is it y'all. Building my family a home, feeling completely blessed. Listen, let me know when y'all joined in on my videos and on my vlogs. I'd like to know how long y'all have been with us. And if you're just joining now, please consider clicking that subscribe button as it does mean a world to me and my family as I share my life with y'all and help remind you you know, this channel is about inspiration, it's about positivity, it's about helping people realize that their dreams are obtainable. It's also a lot of motorsports, motorcycles, off-roading, adventures, and a lot of charity. We do a lot to help other people with this channel, but I want you all to remember that life can be whatever you want it to be. I started life in 2014 with that message I shared with you, having gone through a horrible divorce in a horrible mindset, and I changed my energy. I put good energy out into the world. I stayed focused, I stayed diligent, I worked hard day in and day out for the last seven years. And now, I'm building a home for a family that I cherish and love deeply. Listen, life isn't always easy. You know, Ashley and I, we have problems too. Highs and lows, everybody does. No matter where you're at in your life right now, a high or a low, just remember what's important to you. Remember what's in your heart. You keep your mind on it, you stay focused, and as a lot of my merch says on my website, stubborn, that's right, you stay stubborn. And don't be afraid to let the world know you are. I hope you all enjoyed this house. I'm gonna take you along and share the finishing of it and the completion of it with you. I'll do check-ins and, and let you know where we're at, and I'll share with you the day that Ashley and I move in for our very first night in our own home after living on the road in school buses, in rented campers, in a shop, which I'm going to put some money into remodeling and give that shop to Matt. My marine head man on my property is now gonna have my shop house with a few upgrades that I wish I would have had. <laughs> it feels good, I'm glad y'all are doing it with me and I will look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Y'all remember, you stay stubborn and you dream until your dreams come true.